to an overnight, apparently. So I hear. Well, you don't think she did it, do you? Well, she's always struck me as a pretty tough cookie. Well, not that tough, I don't think. Anyway, have you got the plan, eh? No, Rodney. I'm afraid not. What hasn't come through yet? It's not going to come through. Uh, it's been turned down. It can't be. I'm sorry, Rodney, I really am. I did my best. Some unexpected opposition at the last minute. When you first met Christopher Tate, it was as a client, wasn't it? I can't remember our first meeting. But soon after, you slept with him for money, didn't you? Don't feel obliged to answer if you can't remember the facts, Mrs Tate. Yes. And then you married him for money? No. It wasn't that simple. I liked the money, yes. I bet you did. I'd be daft not to. But I liked him as well. I really did. You didn't love him, though, did you? In spite of what he said last night. Yes, I did. In the end. Oh, come on. You betrayed him with his worst enemy. Was it the prospect of a divorce that made you do it, Charity? Of losing it all? I didn't do it. Of being back on the street? I'll never go back on the street. Not if you're convicted, you won't. Admit it. You married him for money, and it was for money... No, I didn't do it right! I didn't! But you led me to believe it was absolutely surefire that nothing could go wrong. I'm sorry. What was it? I don't know. There were some objections in the final stages. Uh, it has been turned down once before. But you knew that from the start. You guaranteed it would go through. What can I say? You said you had power and influence. Well, not enough, obviously. What am I going to do? I stand to lose. I stand to lose. Uh, let me buy you some lunch, eh? What? Well, you... Don't mind if I, no, I do. Hiya. What's up with him? They kept Charity in overnight for questioning, apparently. Oh, well, they'll let her go again if she's innocent. She is innocent. And the police don't always get it right. The train hasn't been around for a bit, has he? Now you mention it, not since Chris died. Well, could be a coincidence, of course. I doubt it. Where's he gone? I don't know, again, he could be anywhere. Why is he gone? You don't think he's... Yeah, I, I, I'm hoping it's just to keep Debbie out of a lot of unpleasant stuff. I'm hoping that's the reason. If he's running away because... Yeah, he's... if he is. I don't want to think it. Not about charity either, but... Debbie yeah, wouldn't be that selfish, would he? Would he? To keep Debbie with him if he was guilty? He might. He loves her and she's all he's got. Yeah, well, that'll keep her safe as well, then, won't it? That he does really care about her. Emily, please, don't worry. I've got to go. I'll try and be back on it tonight. Will you give us a ring if there's any news? She bought the poison, boss. To passwords, memorable details. Did Chris Tate know them? Well, I don't know my wife, sir, do you? And then there's something else. The company checked the delivery she signed for it. And forensics have identified a fragment in the fire. Poison handle with care, to be precise. How can you sit there and... Got to find strength from somewhere. After what you've done to me. It's not my fault. Yes, it is. I did my best. I'm facing ruin. It's not that bad, surely. There must be something I can do. Something... Let better. He's bribable, isn't he? If I were you, I would try to avoid bribing Mayor Ledbetter. Unless you want to face criminal charges. I'm ruined. We've got some new evidence for you. Oh? The poison was bought with Chris's credit cards on the company computers, but it was you who logged on. No. Your details, your password. You must have used mine. Plus, we know it was you who signed for the package. Him in drag, was it? I signed for something. I, I don't know what it was. It, it was... We found evidence of a fire in the grounds of the house charity. You tried to destroy the packaging, didn't you? No, I don't know nothing about no fire. It's starting to look like rather a lot, Mrs Tate. Found next to the body. Plenty of motive. 
your fingerprints on the glass, your password that bought the poison, your signature on delivery, the bonfire, traces of poison in your car, attempting to sell the car on. I'd say we've got enough to charge you with, wouldn't you? It would reduce your sentence if you confessed. I can't. I didn't do it. Marlon? Marlon? Any news? No. She's still being questioned. Lisa, I'm going in. I'm going in to tell him he went up there. No, it'll finish, Kane. Not if he's innocent. That's what you said. If he's innocent, they'll find that out. No, he's got history. Mud sticks. They'll find an excuse to pin this on him. Charity's got a bit of history of her own. Yeah, but not like Kane. I mean, please, Marlon. He's family. So is Charity. Yeah, but not close like Kane. Oh, please, Marlon. He's Zach's son. He feels like a son to me. Listen, listen. I grew up with Charity. Yeah, but she's not proper family, is she? I mean, she's sold out. You really think she did this, don't you? Don't you? Well, uh, all right, then. See, see, she forced me. Yeah, I think she could have done it. How can you believe that of her? Will you believe it of him? Oh, but that's all right, isn't it? I mean, the whole world can badmouth Kane. Regular scapegoat, isn't it? Dumping ground for everybody else's sins. But not charity, you know why? Because she's blonde oh. and pretty, she just has a crooked little finger and everybody else comes running. That's it, that's it, I'm going in. No, no, Marlon. I, I took you in all these months. I, I, I looked after you when you were on your own. I've got to do the right thing. <laughs> Do we charge her? Well, I think we've got enough. Oh, I wish we had a confession. Well, I'm sure we can get one out of her. I've got a Mr Dingle for you. Says he wants to make a statement. Got some information about the case. Okay. No, sir. Marlon Dingle. Put him in the office next door. Sounds interesting. Come to cheer us all up. No, I want a very large scotch. And to be left alone. I'll buy you a drink, Lisa, for taking me in. Oh, it's all right, love. I'll get you one. You haven't got any money. You all right? Well, I'm just a bit worried about this, you know, murder. I wish your uncle Zach were here. <laughs> Sorry you got me on your plate as well. I mean, the house is already pretty full, isn't it? Shadrach's extra. Debbie, when she's here, she's extra. Marlon. He's very extra. He said he wanted to kill Chris Tate. He said he was going to kill him. He took a knife with him. Why haven't you said anything about this before? Loyalty, really. We're a very... very close family. I, uh, I didn't want to incriminate him. So what changed? When you arrested Charity, she's family too. So you're closer to charity than you are to Kane? No. No, no, I... I just... I, I don't think she did it, that's all. But you think he did it? I... I'm just... telling you what he said. All right, I think she might be covering for him. And I don't see why she should... have to go down for him. What are you doing here? Oh, problems. I'm keeping down at Lisa's for a while, but it won't do for long. Um, you don't fancy a coffee, do you? What, so I can bear my soul to you? I'm not one of your little old ladies, you know. I had noticed. And I think you've bared rather more than your soul to me already. Anyway, I was rather hoping that you would, uh, tell me your problems so I could tell you mine. Deal. Mm -hmm. Just hope yours are a bit more exciting than mine. Kath? Yeah. Exciting. I'm gonna ask you again. Was there anyone else there the night your husband was murdered? No! My client has already answered this question. You don't want to go to prison for someone else, do you? No, of course I don't. Then tell us the truth, Mrs Tate. All right. Can I have a word with my client, please? Now, please. In private. I'll pay you back, Vic. Oh, what's a plate of chips between two people who once fought over a chocolate bar? Well, even Stevens, I should think, as it was my chocolate bar. <laughs> no news of Debbie? 
No, none. Oh, you know Emily, don't you? She was Debbie's foster mum for a while. Mm. I'm very worried about her. Yeah, of course you are. She's with Kane and she's all right. Well, that's what I keep telling myself, but... You mean you know? You've seen her? Well, yeah, the pop round. Well, what did she say? How did she look? Is she, is she really all right? Yeah, she's fine. Well, ate a lot and they just moved on. Well, where did they go? Where are they now? I don't know. She's with Kane, she'll be fine, OK? He just tried to pretend he hadn't changed, you know, with his missing link impersonation, but... I can tell, I can see the signs. He's turned into a dad. Where have they gone? I told you, I don't know. You don't know, you won't say. I'm sorry. Thank you. Changing your statement now would be a mistake. You sound unreliable. A liar, even. Your story before... Which was still true. ...was also clear and uncomplicated. You were innocent. Your husband took his own life. He tried to arrange for the blame to fall on you. No one else was involved. Yeah, but Cain was there. He turned up. That's not what you said before. Yeah, maybe. I was scared. I thought it looked bad in being there. I mean, we'd had an affair. He'd got a record. He'd done a runner. It does sound bad now. <sighs> Are you sure you're not just saying this now because you're scared? Yes. Well, no, of, of course I'm scared, but it's the truth. And I thought the truth was supposed to be the best thing in this. I think you should stand by your original statement. Listen, you Abe, I am looking at a prison sentence here. Life. I don't want to get locked up for something I didn't do. And I've got a daughter. What is she going to do without me? I think you should trust my judgment in this, Mrs Tate. I think we already know he was there. I bet they've got his fingerprints. I think if they had any definite proof of anyone's presence, they wouldn't be asking you. But they keep coming back to the same question again and again. That is their technique. I don't want to go to prison, right? It's because of Kane and Debbie that I'm here. You see, they turned up at my place, had this huge argument with the landlord, and we all got thrown out. We left them with no job. OK. Well, landlord was my employer, and I've got no money. And. Well, I need to buy things for Aaron. Ah, your little boy, the one... You... I'll leave locked up in his room without but bread and water while I go gallivanting round with strange vicars, yeah. That's the one. Where is he? In Hotton, with his dad, where he lives. Oh, not with you, then. That's what I said once, eh? Yes. How old is he? Well, Aaron or his dad. Aaron. Ten, going on 25. <laughs> his dad's the other way around. And now, I need a job. So I don't suppose you need a secretary or out, do you? I do a great nun impersonation. Not good enough, I'm afraid. <laughs> we don't need a waitress, do you? Sorry, this is Hope's fully staffed. Are you planning on staying for long? Dunno. Maybe you could try the wall pack for work. Diane's my ex-mother-in-law. You're kidding. No, I'm Louise's a friend. So you could go on time to give me a job? <laughs> I was going to say, I could put in a word for you. Well, I've done it before. Well, there you go, then. You never know. No harm in asking. Well, come on, we can go and ask him now. <laughs> it might be a little premature, mightn't it? Wouldn't it be best if you let them get to know you a little first? Vic, you see, the best way to get to know each other, well, especially if two of the party are pub landladies, is over the bar, so come on! You know, Vic, this could be worth a whole stack of chocolate bars. Come on, darling. <laughs> come on. Ooh. Come on! Coming. Diane, I don't suppose you've seen my dad, have you? Well, he was in earlier, but he seems to be in hiding now. Oh, well, never mind. Ow! Watch it, Junior! If you want your bosses on the floor. <laughs> what are you doing down there? <laughs> Getting up. Well, the chair don't look very valuable to me. I don't know. Well, it was just now, I'll tell you. Thought you might pop in and see how I was getting on. Hmm? Oh, yeah, I'm getting on great, thanks. I thought you were supposed to be rushing around Danny, organising things, Danny, not Danny, boozing. Danny, 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 the golden knobs have fallen off. What? <laughs> no planning. You are? Mm. The future. Ruined. Ruined. I'm really sorry about your job. What do you mean? Hmm? Well, I shall have to sell the antique shop. And... 
set you free. You don't think any rich widows would like to look after my body, do you? No. She did say she was all right. Good, I'm glad. But she didn't say where she was. No, well, as long as she's all right, that's the main thing. And I know she knew. She knew and she wouldn't tell me. Yeah, shame. Anyway, as I was saying, the four main thrusts of my business expansion plan are... Oh. Nicola, will you please stop talking about trust and spirits and essential underpinning? Cos I cannot... I can't concentrate when I know Debbie's out there and I don't know where. All right. Honestly, I don't know what's the matter with people today. Everybody seems to be in a state of hypertension except me. Anyway, what are you going to do with that pastry when you finish killing it? Just a quiche for Paddy's tea. I'll let you get on. Share business plans with the cat on my way out, see what he thinks. That night, I knew that Kane was planning to go to Twin Farm. I wanted to warn Chris to get him out of the house before Kane turned up. But I, I didn't want to say why, because, well, I, I was worried that Chris might call the police on Kane. Chris must have thought that I wanted to make up. That's why he got the champagne out. But it, it, it turned into a row, because I kept trying to shove Chris out and he didn't know why. I guess that must have been when he phoned the police about me. Then Kane turned up. He must have had the poison with him. He made me buy it. I didn't want to, but he made me. He had my arm twisted up my back when I was on the computer. I... Well, he often hurt me. I've been to the police about him before with Chris, but... dropped the charges. Because, you see, Kane threatened me. I'm terrified of him. Anyway, it turned into an even bigger row. Kane must have slipped the poison into Chris's glass when neither of us were looking. Because w when I saw Chris dying, I... I guess what had happened. Kane wanted me to do a runner, but I wouldn't go with him. I, I didn't want to leave Chris. I heard Kane run into the office. I, I don't know why. And then I heard him leave. And I was phoning the ambulance when you lot arrived. That's it. Well, aren't you going to say anything? So you're saying Cain Dingle murdered your husband? Yes. Mrs Tate, why aren't his fingerprints on the glass? Why are yours there instead? Mine are there from when we were having a drink. Cain's aren't because... Because he was wearing gloves. Did he wear these gloves the whole time he was there? Yes. No! Wait, wait, give me a minute. No, I, I remember now. I remember. He took them off when Chris was dying. And what did he do with them? He put them in his pocket. You don't believe me, do you? We haven't said that. Listen to me, right? Kane is a very dangerous man. There's been a couple more deaths. We all lot too. Meaning? You asked Kane who Angie Reynolds was chasing the night she died. And why? And whose arms she died in. I don't want to say any more. No, all right. That's enough. Yeah, yeah, no, you're his PA. Yes, no, look, look, I, I just wondered if Mr. Bevan might be able to postpone his trip here on Friday. Yeah, I, I could easily get him a flight on Tuesday or... He can't. No, 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 no message. No, 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 there is no problem. Thank you. There's something about this I don't quite believe. Yeah. Better than the framing story, though. Her innocence is probably a bit overplayed. 
Meanwhile, I would do be wearing gloves to poison Tate and then take him off to rob the office. And maybe he did the robbery on impulse. Maybe they did the murder together, but she actually administered the poison. Harder to get a conviction for conspiracy to murder. What do you reckon to all that stuff about Angie Reynolds' death? Well, it's possible. We had a long association. Feels like he's a key witness, doesn't it? Mm. We can't charge her without talking to him. We've got more than enough otherwise. I don't want to get it wrong, though, do we? Risk of getting off. No second bite of the cherry. I'll get a warrant out, but what do we do about her? Well, we've had her in for 48 hours. We'll have to let her go. And if she disappears? Risk we'll have to take. Just till we've spoken to Ken. Got the truth out of him. All right. Sorry, Pumpkin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I know I said I was going to be here earlier, but I've... Are we having a party? No, no, they were for tea. I got a bit carried away, though. That's all right, I'm a, I'm a man of large appetite. I was thinking about Debbie. You were thinking about what, about her starving? I must have been. <laughs> She's going to be all right. And I would have been here earlier, but I've had as many poorly pets to look after as you've made sausage rolls. I don't even like them. <laughs> oh, and you'll, you'll never manage all these, will you? Easily. i freeze them all up and they'll be gone in a year. All right, Mrs Tate, you can go. Pending further inquiries. We're going to look for lover boy. see whether he backs up your story or not. Once we've spoken to him, we'll need to speak to you again. Won't we? Yeah, I suppose so. So don't go too far, will you? <laughs> 